Hey guys, most of you know that I like doing big stuff, including higher order puzzles, like this higher order floppy cube that I designed a, a few a few weeks ago. This is the 1x5x5. Five five. I've also designed the 1x11x11. By 11 by 11. So today, I want to show you why solving these huge puzzles is actually extremely easy and why it's not more difficult than solving a regular floppy cube. Uh, because that's something I've noticed when solving this uh, floppy 1 by 11 by 11, which is actually quite huge. So let's just scramble that 1 by 5 by 5 and see why it's just so easy. Alright, that spins really well. So that's the advantage of FDM puzzles, they spin even better than SLS, so that's nice. Uh, they may be a bit looser and, and, you know, of lesser quality, but overall the turning is very enjoyable because you have to just apply no force whatsoever. So let's start with the inner floppy cube. Now this is quite easy. Uh, you just have to, well, find the, the parts that aren't solved. Let's just make it a bit more scrambled, like, like this for example. Okay, so you have to find the parts that aren't solved. So first you put the corners all white and you see that there are only two edges left. So you just alternate between, you know, um, any adjacent turn to that edge that's not solved. and you just alternate with these turns like that, for example. Now, if I want to solve this one, same thing, I alternate between this turn and this turn, which is adjacent, and it's gonna solve itself, essentially. So, as you can see, keep on turning it like that, and it's gonna solve itself right here. Now, for the next step, it's actually quite uh, surprising because you solve it the same exact way, except since it's higher order, you're you're going to be solving another different shaped, a differently shaped uh, floppy cube. So this is actually your center now. You see earlier we had this and that that turned. So that was your corner, that was your center, and that was your center of rotation. I mean, and now this is going to be your center of rotation. This is going to be your corner, and this is going to be your second center of rotation. So like this, and you're going to alternate between the two until that part over there is solved. And now that that's solved, you're going to do the same doing three cycles with this section here and this section here until the, um, the floppy cube, the regular floppy cube, is solved, like that. And now, you can see here, your floppy cube is actually elongated, like this is one center of rotation, this is the other one, and these two are the last ones, and these are the corners, and it actually works because of the shape of the floppy cube, which only has half turns. So it doesn't matter if it's not uh, perfectly symmetrical, and that this is um, less wide than this. So now you do it on that side, like this. Uh, unfortunately, I think I made a mistake. This is the part that should go here, so, okay. And now that this is solved, I gotta do the same thing with the bottom section. Oh, and now it's solved. So, now all that's left, as you can see, is a regular floppy cube, which I can solve in any way, like that, for example. So, it's just solving, like, the center floppy cube, then moving on to the second floppy cube, the third one, and then the outer one, and they're all the same solve. So let's just do it on an 11 by 11. So here I'm going to start with the center square. It's going to be easy, I just have to do this. So I've got the first floppy cube right there that's solved. Now this one is almost solved. There's just one, I'm talking about the, the 3 by 5 floppy cube right there. There's only that edge right here that's in the wrong orientation, so I just have to do this. Whoops. All right. Now that I've done this, uh, 3x5 floppy cube, I need to do this 3x5 floppy cube, and this is going to be very easy. I just have to do this, so U2, R2, U2, R2, and U2. And now, as you can see, I've got the 3x5 right there that's solved, and the 3x5 right here. Now I've got to do the 5x5 floppy cube, so I only have this, these two edges uh, these two corners that aren't solved. Uh, this is actually quite easy again because, well, this is just like solving a floppy cube without having any constraints for side colors. You just have to solve the, the main colors. So it's, it's actually quite easy. Now, then I'll have to move on to the 5x7 floppy cube. 
and you'll see that it's still the same thing. All right, nice. Okay, now I'm at the 5x5 five five floppy cube. That one's solved. Now I can move on to the 5x7, this one. And now this is going to be... Actually, that's not exactly true. I first need to solve the 3x7, three 3x7, seven, three seven, right there, this whole section here. Once the 3x7 is done, so let's just do that. Almost done, just have to do this, this, and that. Okay, now the 3x7 section is done. Hell, I can even have a 3x9 if I want, okay. Um, now I just need to do the 5x7. So now that I've done 3x7, I need to move on to 5x7, which means these are the centers, the first ones, and these are the second centers. So it's, again, as solving a regular floppy cube again, except here I've got 5x1 centers and 3x1 centers inside a 5x7 floppy cube. Almost there. Nice. Okay, perfect. Just need that face here, and we're done with the first 5 by 7. And now I need to do the other 5 by 7, so I start with the 3 by 7. So just have these two corners and that uh, center here left to solve. So I need to turn this, that, then this again. Oops, that one. It's always RU until it works. It's always like just two adjacent faces that uh, have all the, the parts that aren't in the right orientation. And now the 3x7 here is solved. Now I need to move on to the 5x7. Notice how here on the 5x7 there's only these two corners. So I'm gonna do another, so RU, RU, RU until that works out and all right, so R, U, so the U is this whole section right there. Then R again. Then U, R, and the final U. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit uh, deconcentrated by the fact that there's this sticker that's peeling off right there. I'm just gonna put it back. All right, now, uh, now that I've done all the 5x7 floppy cubes, I've got one last thing to do, the 7x7 floppy cube. And then I can move on to the 9x9 floppy. It's a very progressive method, like it's the same thing every time, but you see the progress that you make. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's quite strange to be using the same method for every single... Uh, center and edge of this puzzle. It's quite strange that you're using essentially uh, a method that is It's not like on the on the 5x5 five five where you solve the centers in a different way um, As you solve the edges and in a different way as you solve the inner 3x3 three three. here It's just like a floppy cube over floppy cube So it's the same puzzle every single time you solve anything on that cube and uh, and that's quite unusual I think Alright, so now I'm solving, I don't know if you've uh, followed, but I'm solving the 7x9 floppy cube. So right now I've solved the first 7x9 section, so this whole thing is solved. All that's left is this and this. So, uh, first there's this, uh, whoa, almost there, this 3x9 floppy right there, with this edge in the wrong orientation. So I just need to do this, this that. Then there's the 5x9, which is already solved on the bottom. Also, that's a good thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but here, it can probably even be solved... Oh no, I, I hadn't seen this, but if this was white, it could have been used to solve these two at the same time by using this whole section here as a center and this small section here as a center. So let's just solve the 5x9 now, like this, followed by this, that, this, okay, and this, okay, now all that's left is this um, 7x9 here, 
and then solving the 9x9 floppy cube on the inside. And then we're going to have, uh, we're finally going to have edges to solve. And that's a good thing because, okay, so, it's a good thing because now we'll have like a, a challenge per se, which is not exactly a very difficult challenge, but whatever. Um, there's an easy way to solve this, and if I'm not mistaken, just do this. Invert them like that, and yep. So now I've solved the inner 9x9. Nine nine. Alright, nice. Okay. So now, I need to solve the floppy cube. Well, the first floppy cube with four colors. Well, technically, yeah, four colors. Uh, which is the one with white, orange, red, and yellow. Uh, the first one I'm going to solve is this three by nine. And now the good thing is I don't really care about these sides. I can do three by nine, five by nine, seven by nine, nine by nine. Uh, sorry, I meant by 11. So I can do the three by 11, five by 11, seven by 11, nine by 11, and then move on to the other ones on the other side. Um, but there's no real order uh, in things. So that's nice. So let's just do this. All right. So this is the first 3 by 9 which is solved, so all white and all red. Now I've got the second, okay, the 5 by 9 this, uh, this uh, edge here is solved, it's part of the 5 by 9 which means uh, I can just, you know, s solve uh, this, uh, these three parts, these three remaining parts by moving only the left and the top faces so that I don't damage uh, the bottom right uh, edge. Now. I've got the 7x9, now everything is scrambled in that one, which is not that great, I guess, but it's going to be an easy solve. Alright, like this, and now I can bring, oof, no, that was not a good thing. This edge goes right here, and now I can move this one back here, and move it all the way around the puzzle, and that doesn't solve everything because now I need to 3-cycle this one and these two. Now this one is in the wrong position, so I can do this to replace it in the right position. Just do, again, RU, RU, RU until it's solved, so it's very easy. Now there's the 7x11, no, 9x11 that's left. That's the one I'm talking about. Again, it's going to be a very easy solve. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've paired up this yellow, red, white edge here. And now I just need to 3-cycle these three right there. So that shouldn't be very challenging. First I need to do this so that I can pair up the white, orange, yellow one right here. Replace it and pair up the final ones. So now I've solved this whole edge right there. I just need to solve this last section here. So. So start with the 3 by 11 as you can see these three parts are correct notice how here I have two paired up two here that are paired up and two here as well which means I can solve the um, the three the 5 by 11 just like a floppy cube because it's already you know these two can be used as one corner so that's very easy and uh, and that's a good thing that means we're gonna skip a step and uh, I'm glad I had that situation because I wanted to show you that one um, here pairing up both at the same time moving on and pairing up two more right there so now I've solved the 3 by 9 uh, the 3 by 11 and 5 by 11 at the same time and that's a good thing uh, all right, what's left? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay. Now I've solved the seven by eleven as well. Same method as before. And I've got one last to solve, and that would be this one. And now I've solved the whole uh, sub floppies that are inside the floppy 1 by 11 by 11. And now I just need to solve it like a regular floppy cube. And that is going to be much uh, faster, much quicker than the rest. So let's start with this. 
So I'm pairing up at least this corner with this, uh, this big edge right there, so that now all of this uh, section here is solved, including that, meaning I only have to do you are move, and in this case I only have two left, and that's how you solve the floppy 1 by 11 by 11. So the cool thing about floppy cubes is that no matter which floppy cube you have, it's essentially a floppy 1 by 3 by 3 every single time. And for higher order, um, even numbered floppy cubes, the first floppy is going to be a 1 by 2 by 2, and then every single floppy over that is either going to be a 1 by 2 by 3 for the for the ones that are adjacent to the center, or a regular floppy cube for every single other one. So, so it's actually very, very simple. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I had a lot of fun solving these uh, these floppy cubes. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments. If you want me to make some you know, specific videos or stuff like that, let me know as well. I would be glad to make videos according to what you guys want. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one.